Cow's milk protein allergy is a serious condition in babies. Are you worried that your baby has a red, itchy rash, or has lip swelling, or swelling of the face, or your baby has tummy problems like vomiting, or there's blood in the poop? Are you worried that your baby might be allergic or might be intolerant to cow's milk protein? Well, in this video, we will talk about cow's milk protein allergy, what are the signs and symptoms, what, uh, how is it diagnosed, how is it treated, what to do when you're breastfeeding, what formula options you have, and what about lactose intolerance? Is this different? And how is lactose intolerance treated? Hey, I'm Dr. Christine Albaquiat. I'm a board-certified pediatrician, and my mission is to help moms and dads deal with child health problems to raise happy and healthy kids. Cow's milk protein allergy. So, what is cow's milk protein allergy? Well, it is a common allergy found in babies. Um, it is usually seen in 7% of babies who are less than one year old. And uh, most children grow out of it when they turn five. What happens? So um, with cow's milk protein allergy, it usually starts when the baby is first introduced with cow's milk, either when they first start taking formula or when they start taking solid foods. In rare cases, it can happen to exclusive breastfed babies from the cow's milk protein from mom's diet that is passed on to the breast milk. Now, there are two types of cow's milk protein allergy. The first type is the immediate cow's milk protein uh, allergy, um, where the symptoms happen within minutes of taking the cow's milk. And there is a delayed type cow's milk protein allergy, where symptoms occur several hours or several days after taking cow's milk. Now, what are the signs and symptoms of cow's milk protein allergy in your baby? Your baby can develop a wide range of the signs and symptoms. Um, first are skin reactions where your baby might develop a red itchy rash or there can be swelling of the lips, uh, in the face or swelling around the eyes. There can be tummy problems where your baby can be vomiting or with diarrhea or constipation or there's blood in the poop. Your baby can also have allergic rhinitis symptoms where there is a runny nose or a blocked nose. Or your baby can have eczema or skin asthma that does not go away with treatment. Your baby can also experience severe allergic reactions such as wheezing or difficulty of breathing or if there's swelling in the mouth or throat. Um, if this happens, this is known as anaphylaxis and it is a medical emergency and you need to bring your baby to the ER. Alright, then how to diagnose cow's milk protein allergy? Well. Unfortunately, there is no single test that can say that your baby has cow's milk protein allergy. It involves you and your doctor going through your baby's history, reviewing your baby's signs and symptoms, and going through a process of elimination by ruling out other medical conditions first. Your doctor might request for stool tests or testing your baby's poop, a blood test, and an allergy test or an elimination diet where for example if your baby is taking formula to change your baby's formula to something that is free from cow's milk protein or if you're breastfeeding to try eliminating uh, cow's milk from your diet my tip for you 
do not try to diagnose cow's milk protein allergy yourself. Talk to your pediatrician so you and your doctor uh, can uh, review your, your baby's uh, signs and symptoms and go through the process of elimination together so your baby can be properly diagnosed and treated. How to treat cow's milk protein allergy? And what about lactose intolerance? Is it different from cow's milk protein allergy? And how to treat lactose intolerance? Well, before we go to that, are you expecting a baby? How much better life can be when things are under your control upon baby's arrival? It is not always the case though. Some moms have trouble with breastfeeding. What are the best breastfeeding positions? Uh, how about breast milk storage? What to do if I have inverted nipples? Then how about a crying fuzzy baby? How to soothe your baby? And what to do if your baby has tummy problems like colic? Well, I developed an online training video series known as the five newborn care strategies. Do check that out with the link provided in the description section. After your baby has been diagnosed with cow's milk protein allergy, how is it treated? Well, treatment comes from your doctor's medical advice. It can be from your baby's uh, pediatrician or from your doctor who is an allergy specialist. Um, treatment involves eliminating all forms of cow's milk protein. If your baby is taking formula, your baby will be prescribed with a special infant formula. My advice to you, do not try switching your baby to any infant formula though. It should come from your doctor's medical advice. Now, if your baby is breastfed, uh, you mom should eliminate all forms of cow's milk protein from your diet. Take note, your baby needs to be monitored every 6 to 12 months if your baby has outgrown this cow's milk protein allergy. So you're breastfeeding and your baby has developed cow's milk protein allergy. What to do? Well, continue on breastfeeding because breastfeeding is best. What you can do, mom, is to eliminate cow's milk protein from your diet. And these dairy products include milk, cheese, uh, yogurt, cream, and butter. As a reminder, breastfeeding is best. The recommendation from the American Academy of Pediatrics is exclusive breastfeeding for babies up to six months old and to continue on at least uh, until your baby reaches one year of age. The World Health Organization recommends exclusive breastfeeding for your baby's first six months of life and to continue on until your baby has reached two years of age. Is your baby taking formula and has developed a cow's milk protein allergy? Then there are formula options for your baby. Your doctor would recommend an extensively hydrolyzed formula. It is a type of protein that is broken down into smaller particles that would make an allergic reaction less likely. Um, if your baby still has a reaction to this, then your baby might do well on an amino acid based formula. This is protein in its simplest form. Uh, keep in mind though that the more extensively hydrolyzed the formula is, well, the less tasty it is for some babies. Now, what about lactose intolerance? Well, it is another type of reaction to milk. It means that your baby uh, cannot digest lactose, which is a natural form of sugar in milk. Um, it is not a form of allergy and lactose intolerance can be temporary. For example, it can happen uh, after your baby has had a stomach bug or a stomach infection known as an acute gastroenteritis. And symptoms of lactose intolerance include vomiting, diarrhea, and a rumbling stomach. And how is lactose intolerance treated? 
Well, it would depend on your baby's uh, extent of uh, lactose intolerance. For some, your baby might need to go lactose free, or for some babies, they can tolerate small amounts of dairy products without having a reaction. So it's best that you talk to your pediatrician about it. Hey, if you like this video, watch my other videos where I teach you about other child health problems.